this is DJ Tall Guy from 90.3 The Core, and we're here today with Gao Jue. Hi. Yo. <laughs> yes. Great. <laughs> um, so you guys are currently on tour with La Dispute, and this is the first or the second night? The fourth. The night. fourth? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, what stops have you made so far? Like, what cities, which has been, like, the most fun, you'd say, thus far? Let's see, we did... Started in Grand Rapids. And then Pontiac. Yeah, Pontiac. And then Both Toronto. Those. Toronto was really sick. Yeah. They were all really fun. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now the icebreaker's out of the way into uh, <laughs> yeah. So you guys have been doing a lot of like live sessions and cool internet things lately. You guys did the van mm -hmm. session and the audio tree session. And like audio tree just seems to be getting everyone that's like coming up now doing great things. And so just tell me what like working with audio tree was like. Um, it was super awesome. We were incredibly nervous. I think I was nervous for like two months before we actually did it. Um, but when we got there, they were just like so efficient and like personable and like really, really tried hard to make us feel comfortable really, really, really fast. Um, so that was cool. It was really, really scary to like be alive because you're just like, oh my God, I'm going to mess up and people are going to write mean comments about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it came out so good. I listened to it regularly. <laughs> And um, what about the van session? That was cool. They like put you guys into a giant shoe box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were also incredibly nervous for that. I feel like you can kind of tell when you watch it because that was the first, like. It's before audio tree. So. Yeah, it's the first thing like that we ever did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, it looked like it was a whole lot of fun. Yeah. So next on the agenda, very unprofessional of me. What has working with Death Wish been like? because they're kind of putting out all like the greatest heavy music that's been coming out in the last few years. Like Oathbreaker, Cult Leader, all of those bands. Like what has it been like being a part of that roster? Amazing. Crazy. Yeah, crazy. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we like, we're never super like big on getting on a label or anything like that. Um, but when like we kind of knew something could work out with them, um, Trey, um, who runs, like, is one of the people that runs the label, um, sent us this email that was just, like, paragraphs long about how they, like, trust us to do whatever we want and aren't going to try to control anything, and, like, pretty much since that, we're like, that's the label. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and uh, what about the producers you got to work with on Burnt Sugar? Uh, Jeremy Bohm and, um, his name's escaping me now, he did, uh, Sunbather, right? Jack yeah. Shirley. Yes, Jack Shirley. <laughs> Awesome. Like, Jack Shirley is like one of my favorite uh, engineers. He's so f***ing good. Like, everything he does is amazing. <laughs> uh, and he's like one of the nicest people ever. That's so, so cool. So cool to work with. He's like, just like, he'll throw ideas at you, like, if you want them. And uh, it just helps out like so much with all the little things you don't think of in the moment, I guess. Yeah. I feel like everyone has like a favorite producer that they like dream of working with. Was he one of yours? He yeah. was my only, yeah, the only person on my list. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've always had a soft spot for Kurt Ballou. Yeah. Everything oh, yeah. he does. Really yeah. But um, also any Jeremy. Uh, yeah, Jer has he produced anything else besides your record? I haven't. Nope. I think ours was the first one. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And it was really cool. Mm -hmm. He's like such a good friend. And. Uh, I don't know, it was, it was it was great like working with the songs with him and uh, just have like a friend there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you guys tore with them a bunch. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I know the first couple of times you came through New York, I missed it and so I was like I missed the dream team lineup. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully again. <laughs> Anyways, um, I wanted to move on and talk more about like the musical change that you went from album to album, from Dies to Burnt Sugar, where Dies is more like kind of grindy, power violence, just like straight up kick in the teeth, hardcore. And you guys kind of took a step back and did the more songwritery approach, post-hardcore, like weird grooves, cool chords and everything. Yeah. And I wanted to know what prompted that change. Um, well, Mick and I um, started the band like a while ago. 
and that was pretty much what we always wanted to do. Um, but then we like we're always working with people who um, stressed really hard about writing a hardcore record, um, which is cool. Like I'm I'm really glad that we did it. Um, like that we did die is like it's really important to me. Um, but we got like Tommy involved and Tyler, and now we have Dylan, and they're all kind of more on the same page of just wanting to like experiment and try different things and not really like. I don't know, instead of being like, this doesn't fit on the record, just taking an idea and making it fit, <laughs> you know, instead of just like, kind of like shutting things down, so it's cool. <laughs> That's awesome. And um, if I'm correct, you used to teach school, right? You yeah. were a school teacher? I wanted to ask how that influenced uh, your lyric writing, because I know you have a lot of songs about bullying and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I taught kindergarten. Um, which is really, really cool. And I just feel like a lot of the basic things that you want to teach children, uh, adults need to, <laughs> like, be reminded of all the time. Just, like, how to treat people and respect each other. And like, very, very basic, <laughs> like, concepts. A lot of people need reminders, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> And um, last question, since we're from New Brunswick, Hub City, whatever you want to call it, we have a very prominent underground basement scene. A lot of bands have come out of there like Lifetime, Bouncing Souls, whatnot, still going on now. And I wanted to ask you about the basement scene that you guys used to be a part of down in Fort Lauderdale, what booking, what those shows were like, what the scene was like, any bands that people should be checking out from there. Um, so bands, off the top of my head, I would say we'll write, um, and then Insignificant Other, they're, they relocated to Birmingham, but they're like, when I think of South Florida, I think of them. Um, but yeah, um, growing up, going to shows in South Florida was always kind of hard just because it was like impossible to keep venues open and especially all ages places. And um, so we'd get people who would start throwing house shows and then that would only last so long. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's one place that uh, we call it the barn, which is literally a barn house in someone's backyard, um, and they're they're still going, so that's cool. That's so awesome, the barn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any stories from the South Florida scene that you wanted to share? I'm actually from like Central Florida. Really? Okay, yeah. so like Gainesville area? More like Orlando. Oh, okay. Daytona. Yeah. All right, cool. Kind of was there a scene there at all? Yeah, it was a small one. We did shows for a while at uh, this place called the Lion's Den that was right by the college in Daytona. That was that um, University of Central Florida? No, Daytona State College. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It's like a smaller thing. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I think everything like comes and goes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, we have the same issue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, those were all the questions I had to ask. Thank you so much for being a part Thank of you. and letting us do this. And you had a fantastic performance. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so I guess we can cut it there. Uh, this has been Tall Guy from 90.3, The Core, and Abby. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>